I'm at 2279 Four Winds Drive in San Pablo area, close to the beaches in our coastal area. Uh, it's a well established old neighborhood, and there are some riverfront properties. It's a small community. It's close to the main San Pablo Road as well. The house has five bedroom, almost 2,000 square feet, structure block and brick, and uh, some ascent uh, sidings on the upstairs. I see it, that is, didn't see damage on them. Structure looking good, but the roof uh, needs to be replaced, fence needs to be repaired, and the driveway and the backyard, the, the concrete needs to be refinished. It's all cracked. This shed should be removed. It has a two car garage. Doesn't have an automatic garage door openers. The backyard, uh, because of the bushes, looks small. But if we remove this uh, playground and the, uh, clean all the bushes, you will have a nice, uh, pretty big backyard. Has a crawl space, and actually, actually, house is in three stories, in three levels, I should say, not three stories, but three levels in two-story house. AC unit is intact, but definitely needs to be checked and if we're going to plan to replace I mean flip this property we should replace it with the newer energy saving AC system so the uh, big tree in front of the house is actually blocking the view of the uh, house it should be trimmed And there's one limp, it's going over to, there's two big limbs going over to root that definitely needs to be removed and then there's two big limbs. So this will probably cost thousand or fifteen hundred dollars to clean up. And the roof probably anywhere between seven to eight thousand dollars. The rails around the porch area needs to be refinished. They're nice, we can probably keep it if, if we can fix it. I don't know the condition of it, I see the paint. It painted over the years many times, but I don't know if it's rusted or not, but it looks good. But it could be something different as well. Inside, I didn't see any uh, damages in the rooms. The, definitely because of the flip we need to this is an old style uh, floors it's not nice but it should be replaced with the uh, newer contemporary style as soon as you get in left side with the wood burning fireplace is a living room formal living room or regular family room type and then there's the dining room leads to the kitchen that dining room actually opens up the backyard and the kitchen definitely needs to be remodeled completely redesigned maybe the cabinets I mean cabinets are real wood maybe we can keep him but the counters that countertop should be and the sink should be replaced with the granite and the appliances there's a room in the kitchen for breakfast area I see some holes on the wall. These are used to be a um, communication device between the rooms. There are, uh, we can use the same lines actually put a, some type of home automation here that we should spend on at this type of level home. That will probably cost anywhere three to five thousand dollars, but it's worth it. And then right next to the kitchen, it actually opens up the garage area but there's a level that it's nicely done uh, maybe the uh, the paneling in the this area should be 
remove it, make it a regular drywall, and the floor should be the same. And this is kind of like a extra living area, extra living room area with two bedrooms and a full bath. So it's the same flooring, an AC unit in the one of the room here. Again, definitely needs to be checked. It's a gas furnace type uh, AC system. We need to find out when it was uh, replaced because it doesn't really look, look old. This is the second bedroom downstairs. And those two bedrooms looking at the front yard. And decent size rooms. And the bathroom, the same floor. It's a small bath, small sink vanity. And this should be removed and with the nicer one. Toilet looks good actually. And a nice shower actually, we shouldn't touch the shower, it's just maybe the, we, we need to check, make sure it's working condition and fix around the faucets and maybe drainage area, we should replace it. And then this opens up the garage and the sliding door actually opens up the backyard as well. But the garage, it, 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 you can see it's an old block. But doesn't have any garage door opener, so that should be the money that we need to spend here to put a garage door opener or, or check the railing system, make sure it's working. It's very lighted, nice. And then if you see the water heater, it's gas. The house looks like it's replumbed. But the water heater, I see a lot of uh, rusty stain, it should be replace is pretty old and the washer and dryer section is also in the garage and then this uh, stairs again it's read leads out to kitchen area and then the foyer area and then this, this stairs goes to the second floor which are the other three bedrooms are Immediate right is the same, similar size the bedroom to the one in downstairs. Opens up the uh, view of the front yard. Again, the ceilings are old styles. Uh, before we paint, we sh these these are should be scraped down and making a nice uh, knockdown ceiling. And I, I see that all the doors need to be replaced. They're old style. We need to replace the, all the doors. It's this is the fourth room actually. Windows are looking good. And there's another bathroom here. Uh, this floor is green. Definitely cabinets. Vanity needs to be replaced with a nice one. Toilet looks okay, but needs to be checked. This has a bathtub. It's a green tile. I don't know. This we need to think about this. Keep this or because it looks nice, clean. Maybe we can keep it. But the floor it looks really dated. Maybe change the. Uh, green tiles around this bathtub and do something else with the uh, new flooring uh, maybe it will work out better but definitely we need to do something and then opens up the, uh, the third bedroom is the master bedroom it's not too big it's a decent size but it's a lot of lights coming in from two windows to the backyard area but the uh, Bathroom, definitely the massive bathroom. It's not too big, but we definitely need to do something. We need to change the floors here. And I will recommend to rip everything out here, make it a nice um, step in shower since we have a uh, bathtub, uh, uh, bathtub uh, the bathroom in the guest room, so we don't need the second bathtub. So this should be the uh, step in shower. 
nice earth color tire all the way around, seamless uh, glass uh, shower doors, nice vanity. I mean, we need to spend like three, three to four thousand dollars here, including all the tiles, and that will raise the value of the property. And then this is the closet. It's not too big, but we might need to revise this area to make it a little bigger. And this uh, actually uh, completes the video preview for this property. Um, again, I didn't see not too much uh, damage on this here, but because of the area, the comps, uh, the numbers that we want to uh, sell this property, uh, we should spend on the kitchen and the bathrooms and the flooring. Um, my estimate was uh, the other day was much higher actually without seeing the inside but since I saw the inside um, probably somewhere around 35 to 40 thousand dollars this will cover the uh, full uh, nicely done uh, remodeling for this house but you know somewhere around 40 will be the right number uh, we'll talk about the details how I come up with that number so maybe a few thousand there and uh, positive for negative we can change so this will cover the uh, this preview and we'll discuss it later on. Thank you.